All right, I'm standing here with J.R. Hole, a uh, state rep from Dunbarton in New Hampshire. Uh, and uh, you had an interesting concept that you wanted to share with me about the way that YouTube will influence the elections in uh, New Hampshire so, this year. I'm seeing a lot of our, our committee hearings videotaped by um, certain members of unions, progressive, in general, progressive people coming in and videotaping. And I've seen already small clippets that are posted to YouTube, taken out of context to influence votes, and I suspect going forward we're going to see more of that. That it's not just going to be written media, it's going to be videotapes. So um, are you seeing, are you finding that it's more left-leaning left folks that are videotaping, or libertarians, so, so, or some Republicans? Of or? Some of both. More pro the progressive element is doing more of it. They're mm -hmm. there at every hearing. I'm mm -hmm. seeing select hearings done by some of the more activists on the libertarian side as well. Yeah. It's a good thing. I mean, there's good and bad, right? I think people need to be on record. This is back to HB 145, 146, the yeah. regarding on, on the job, on the record. Having videotapes of what goes on um, in these committee hearings is a great thing because not all of that ever gets out to the public. Right. Uh, are you finding that uh, our, our videographers being pretty well treated still at the State House? Uh, yeah, they're it seems well. like. Yes, no, and, and uh, it goes a long way to, to sharing the full story. Sometimes right. just the text of what happened isn't enough. So, yeah. I appreciate the guys being there. Um, why do you think it's going to have such an impact on the on the election that it didn't have? We're moving to a media. I'm uh, sorry. We're moving to a system where information is conveyed more through um, video information mm -hmm. in small clips on YouTube because they can circulate so quickly, uh, much quicker than you can through written information. Have you given any thought? Of course, we're standing in the building that fought the real ID, right? You know, they, they fight the feds here. <laughs> so, have you given any thought to these new federal regulations maybe coming down on the internet and making that more difficult? Um, and we shouldn't restrict what happens on the internet. I mean, I, I think people can post whatever they want. Are you finding that there are any you know conflicts that seem to to spring up around the videotaping or the cameras or or any of that? Um, no, I haven't seen any conflicts, and I haven't. I mean, I have seen clips cut and pasted out of, or video clips that have been cut and pasted in ways that did not communicate what actually happened. That's mm -hmm. probably the worst offense I've seen. Now you've got this, uh, I mean, you know, it's been a year of really pretty contentious stuff happening in terms of the, uh, the bills that have been passed, you know, here, there's been, you know, a lot of uh, rancor inside the building. Um, and but, it's, the, it tends but to the bills haven't been really contentious. Mm -hmm. They've been contentious to a small minority of those who are more elected into office. Um, I don't think they're contentious to the majority of the people who live in this state. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like it seems like though there is a little bit of a backlash. I mean, we're seeing a little bit of a progressive backlash, um, you know, to the, the, the conservative slash libertarian slant of the of the current house. Um, yeah, but I, I, in general, I still see a lot of support for some of the things that have happened. People really do like the government kind of leaving them alone to do what they want to do at home. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, a right. The government shouldn't be involved in everybody's everyday's lives and being known as the granny state from before. What would you say is the you know is a solution that that uh, progressives and folks in the house can come to that kind of benefits both sides? Can you think of a win-win solution? Yeah, I think it's possible. The spectrum is a complete spectrum. At some point, you get all the way around. There are cases where people on the progressive side start to see some of the values the libertarians hold, and vice versa. So bills that. Um, allow families to run their families the way they want to is, is a great example of where the two meet in the political spectrum. You're finding a lot of progressive support for that kind of thing? You mean? Yes. I see. Okay. okay, good. All right. Thanks, Thank Jared. Appreciate your time okay. today. Take care. All right.